I just got off the train. It's Wednesday morning here at the hangar. I uh, just got back from a trip to Oregon to see my family. And, and I'm up here on the top of the airplane to see what's been accomplished while I've been gone. Let me turn this around. This is great. So Jan and Wade spent the last couple of days tying down these skins. So this one, we're still needing some hardware. That one over there is close. Again, needing some hardware and then working on these two skins. We'll need to go over and get the leading edges for this section. Uh, and Jan was working. Hang on just a second. Jan was working on figuring out what the hardware needs for this section right here. And then we'll also need to get that skin, those skins on for painting. I believe I found a set of jacks that I can go get probably early October. And maybe we can get this thing in the air and get tires on it. That would be awesome. All right, let's see how the day goes. So I'm here. We've got a couple of guys here that are checking things out with us. Hold on. We've got Dylan and we've got Ryan. They're from Prime Appearance. And we're really hoping that they're going to uh, be able to help us out by polishing. Already looks incredible compared to what it was. And this is probably the worst part of the airplane as far as polish goes. All right, we'll see what it looks like when he gets done on this test area. So Dylan has just done another Dylan has just done another test section. Why don't you tell us about it, Dylan? Hang on. So, um, so we just used Rouge and F to try to restore this section here. Um, we're still seeing some blemishes throughout here, which may need to be some sanding work, but um, it's cleaning up but, nice. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's gorgeous. And the top of the nacelle. I, I really hope this is something that we can do, but yeah, it's got it's got some signs of being an eighty old airplane, eighty year old airplane, but that's not bad. I like it. Beautiful job, Dylan. Thank you, sir. Okay, so we asked him to do one more panel, and that's this this stainless steel that has the exhaust pipe for the hopefully one of these days have an APU in there. But yeah, that's, preliminarily, this looks awesome. Now we just need to see the rest of it happen. <laughs> What's that? So Brett brought me over his uh, A26, his Special K version. And this was interesting. Was this how the kit depicted it? Yeah, because that's the way it is. So, yeah, the, big, the bigger air scoops, not on the actual pattern. Right, right. I, I don't know what they called them they had, either. They had, a, they had a weird name for them. Yeah. The Congo scoops or something like that. Yeah, something like that. They should have built a turbo prop version. They should have. They armored the cells. And been, put, been, put the cockpit ahead of the prop. Motors. That is so cool. Thanks, Brett. No problem. <laughs> Thank you.